Hi, my name is Seti and welcome back to another Tips and Tricks with Apps Events and Acer. In today's video, we will be looking at adding a chart into your Google Slide or Google Doc and we're going to make sure that that chart is linked to the source spreadsheet so that whenever information is updated, the chart is automatically updated as well. We're also going to be looking at taking a snapshot for those times that you want a chart that is not automatically updated. So let's get started. Here I have a Google document open and the question I've asked is what is your favorite type of pie? Now we have a little bit of information here. You can see in my spreadsheet, we got the year ones up to year four to answer. And then we have a percentage. We gave them the choice between apple or pumpkin. In year one, we have a 50-50 split. Year two, we have 15 and 85%, 42%, 58%, and then in year four, 71, 29%. Now again, this is not real data. This is just made up for the sake of this demonstration. Here on the right hand side, I have a chart and these bars represent the percentage of votes and so clearly indicate which is the preferred pie type for each of these year groups. Now let's bring this chart into our Google document. So in Google documents, I'm going to go to the top and select insert. Now I will go to chart and because I already have the information, I'm not going to select these charts. I will select from sheets. So go ahead and click on that. Here I see my spreadsheets and I immediately see that spreadsheet I worked on. So let's select that one. We're going to click on select and it's now asking me to import the chart. Now this is the important step. If you want a snapshot, which we will do first, then you have to make sure this is not ticked. So we're going to untick this box. We select the chart and then click on import. Again, this chart is a snapshot. So let's add that text. This is a snapshot. Okay. Next, we're going to insert the same chart a second time but now we are going to link the charts. So go ahead and click on insert, chart, from sheet, select that same sheet, select the chart and make sure that link to spreadsheet is ticked. We're going to click on import and this is linked. Now, how can you see the difference? Well, when you go to the top and you click on this chart, you will see that you do not see any linked icons around this chart. However, when I click on the other chart in the top right corner, you see that this is a linked chart similar to our last video on linking slides between different slide decks. You can link your chart to a spreadsheet. So when I click on this, I can open my source, change the data, or I can unlink the objects. For now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my Google sheet and I'm going to change some of this data. So if you remember, year one is a 50-50 split. Let's go and change that. Let's say that in year one, we had 10% voting for apples and 90% voting for pumpkin. So it's a big change. And now we can go back to our doc. Here in my document, because that information has been changed, the top will not change. I can click on this chart and I don't see any options. However, the linked chart at the bottom, when I click on that, I immediately see that there is an update. And so I can click on that button update and automatically my chart is updated. This way I can have a snapshot and an updated chart, both in the same document, linking to the same spreadsheet. This is great for when you're trying to generate reports or documents that have up-to-date information, as well as snapshots of that data so that your students can reflect on what it used to be and what it is now. Now, I hope you found this helpful. This was another Tips and Tricks with Apps Events and Acer. Make sure to subscribe to the channel, leave a like, and let us know in the comment section if you are using charts and update these regularly. In the meantime, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.